Agri 11 in today's video we are going to do a note that is called a current account so without wasting any other time guys let's go straight to the question paper okay so this question paper was written 2023 uh, from Limpombo province so guys it's very important to treat a uh, different kind of provinces a uh, different kind of question paper from different provinces so that you will have more understanding as well as practicing with the previous uh, examination guys please make sure that you do that so that you can master all the principles okay it was question three a partnership okay then we have a balance sheet and notes okay so for this video purpose we are going to do 3.1.1 so if you want to watch um, the balance sheet part please make sure that you check on the comment section you will find the link to 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 watch Question 3.1.2 for balance sheet. Okay. Then they say T. Thomas and T. Tetas are partner in this business. The financial year end 30 September 2022. Okay. So this business is called TT Brothers. So it's running by two brothers. Required 3.1.1. Complete the current account notes for the financial year end 30 September 2022. 19 marks. So this is what we are going to complete for 19 marks. Okay, then they give us extract from accounting record on 30 September 2022. Okay, then from there we are going to additional information. Additional information number uh, B, S number A is extract. Number B, they said on 1 March 2022, Titus increased his contribution with 50,000. This was entered in the books, which means that this 50,000 already entered in the books of Titus. Okay. Then number C, the partnership agreement states the following. Number one, interest on capital is 12% per annum and Titus receive annual salary of 240. Okay. And Thomas receive a salary of 5,000 per month more than Titus due to extra management responsibility. Okay. We are going to calculate that. Then Titus receive a bonus of 10% of his annual salary. And the remaining profit are shared equally between the partners. Okay. Now, as you can see our format, guys, we have to start with a partner's salary. Okay. Partner salary that we have to record here, you have to make sure that is annual. Annual simply means that it's for 12 months. Okay. It's for the whole year, not monthly. Then from there, we're going to calculate interest on capital. Now, let's look at the transaction that is going to affect salary. Okay. The first column is Thomas. The second one is Titus. Okay. Then they said that uh, Titus receive an annual salary of 240, which means that for Titus, we are okay. Okay. Titus get a salary of 240,000. Okay. Then... The other partner, they said Thomas received a salary of 5,000 per month, more than Titus due to extra management, which means that Thomas received 240, but with extra of 5,000 per month. How are we going to calculate this? Let's show the calculation here for Thomas. Okay, I'm just going to write T to show that it's for Thomas. For that one, we have nothing to calculate because they give us a total. Okay, it's going to be 240 which we need to add it with 5,000 multiplied by 12. Remember they said monthly. 5,000 is monthly, which means that this amount is going to give us, uh, if you calculate this, is going to give us, let's calculate, a 5,000 multiplied by 12 is going to give us a 60,000, okay? Which means that 240, we are going to add it with what? 60,000. Okay. Then from there, it's going to give us a 300,000 annual amount of Thomas. Okay. Then now let's proceed. Interest on capital. Interest on capital. Okay. They said that on transaction number B. Transaction number B, they said the interest... We are going to calculate it uh, in 12% per annum. Okay. And also remember that we have another partner 
whose capital has been uh, added during the year, which means that we have to calculate that separate. Okay, okay. then let's start with uh, Thomas' interest on capital. Okay, so if you check on our extract, we have a capital of 350. Okay, for Thomas is 350,000 multiplied by, remember they say that it's going to be 12% per annum. So if you do this calculation, you are going to get an amount of 42,000. Of 42,000. Remember, there is no any increase or decrease uh, from uh, Thomas, which means that it's just going to be 42,000. Okay, just like that. Now let's go to Titus. Titus, remember, they said that uh, Titus increased his capital contribution on number B on 31 March 2022, which means that we have to calculate interest before and after. Okay. Interest before. Okay, so now let's check how much uh, was capital for Titus. It's it, in total because they said the other 50,000 has already been recorded. Simply means that we have to take out that 50,000 and calculate it separate because months are not going to be the same. Okay, which means that if you take 450 minus 50,000 of additional, we're gonna left with 400,000. We, uh, we calculate this 400,000 uh, by 12% separate. Why? Because guys, remember uh, the other 50,000, we have to count a month, but this one we're not going to count because it's gonna be 12 over 12, okay? Then 400,000 multiplied by 12% and it's gonna give us 48,000. This is not the answer. The answer, uh, we also have to add, remember, there's the other 50,000 of after uh, additional. Okay, but you don't, you don't just have to multiply by 12%. Remember, you also have to do what? To count a month, okay? Remember, our financial year is ending 30 September. And he added on March, which means that it's going to be the following month from March is April, May, June, July, August, September. It's going to be six months. Then we multiply by 6 over 12, okay? Let's do this calculation. Uh, we're going to say 50,000 multiplied by 12%. Okay. Then multiply by 6 over 12. And it gives us 3,000. Which means that we're just going to add 48 plus 3,000. And it gives us total of 51,000. Is the one that we are going to record here. Very simple. Make sure that if there is a additional capital or uh, the withdrawal of capital make sure that you do them separate so that you can get it correct because normally uh, the withdrawal or additional happen during the year okay so i hope this one is gonna be clear for you when you write exam guys okay now let's proceed to partners bonus number bullet number five okay on number c Titus receive a bonus of 10% of his annual salary. Okay. His annual salary, Titus is 240. 240 multiplied by 10%, guys, is just gonna give you 24,000. Okay. The other partner, no bonus. Very simple. Okay. Now let's proceed. We have to move to primary distribution. Okay. How do we get primary? Distribution is very simple. 300 plus 42,000 plus zero is going to give us 342,000. Okay. And the other side, we also have to, to add 240,000 plus 51,000 plus 24,000. Then it's going to give us 315,000. Okay. Then now we have a final distribution. What is final distribution, guys? Remember, okay, let's read it again. Remaining profit are shared equally between the partners. 
Okay. This is primary distribution. Total that they allocated each other. Now we have to make sure that we add this two and we compare it with what? With a net profit so that we can see how much remaining that they are going to, to allocate to each other. Okay. If you check on our statement, we have 750. Okay. A 750 is our net profit. 750 of net profit. Now let's check how much do we left with after we subtracted these two. Okay. Uh, if you subtracted these two, uh, let me calculate and verify. Okay. It's 342 thousand and three fifteen thousand this is going to give you six hundred and fifty seven minus six fifty seven thousand and we're gonna left with what okay let's subtract ninety three thousand this is what they are going to allocate to each other now let's go back and listen very carefully how are they going to allocate each other this remaining profit okay let's check the last bullet the remaining profit are shared equally between partners they are sharing equally which means that we're just gonna divide this by two okay and it's gonna give us 46 500 46,500. But if they give you a ratio that you have to use, please make sure that you do that. If they say the other one is 30%, calculate 30% of that person and 70% of the other person. This is what we do. Very simple. And make sure that you write this because there is a chocolate mark here. Method mark. Okay? So don't skip that part. Alright. Now, uh, we are going to what? To a net profit how are we going to get a net profit we just add these two okay if you add these two this side it's gonna give you 388 500 and this side is gonna give you 361 500 to be sure that everything that you did is correct guys make sure that you add these two they must give you 700 50. Once you get 750, everything is correct. Very simple as that. Okay, now let's go to drawings. Okay, drawings, obviously, we have to indicate by a bracket. If you go to our um, extract number A, you're going to get those balances. For each partner, very simple, you just copy and paste. Okay, for Thomas, we're going to copy and paste 345,000. For the other partner, we're going to copy and paste 375,000. Very simple. Very simple. Okay. Now, retained income. Retained income, you just take this one and minus this one. This one minus this one. Very simple step, guys. And for this one, we're going to get 43,500. And this one, we're going to get a negative because we subtracted more amount than the positive one. The negative one is bigger, which means that this person left with negative amount. Okay. Then, now, balance at the beginning. We just going to copy it on our uh, accounting record. You take the one that has been written current account. Because it's opening, you take the opening balance. Our closing balance is 30 September. Opening is 1 October 2021, last year. Okay. Then for the other one, if you check for Thomas, we have a debit balance of 30,000. And for Titus, his credit balance of 10,500. Now listen very carefully. Remember the principle of accounting equation? Under equity, on the debit side, is minus. On the credit, is plus. This is what we are going to do here. Because uh, for, for Thomas, is on the debit, is debit, which means that it's negative. It's going to be negative 30,000. Okay? And for this one, it's positive, it's credit. 
is gonna be positive 10,500 okay then from there balance at the end guys you just add these two but where there is a bracket you subtract okay 43 minus 30,000 is gonna be 13,500 and this one uh, obviously it's going to give us negative because negative is the one which is higher this side and it's gonna be 3000 of negative 10,000 minus 13,500 it's gonna give you that very simple so I hope you learn something please make sure that you check other videos for grade 11 so that you can prepare all the chapters that you are going to write exam paper 1 paper 2 I recorded everything guys just go to a playlist for grade 11 and watch and learn. Thank you so much, guys. Please don't forget to like this video, share with friends so that they can also pass and subscribe to this channel so that it can grow and help other poor people who are looking for help. See you next time.